I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some important concepts about harmonic series. In our example, we need to show that the sum of reciprocals of natural numbers is a diverging series. Right? So, uh, so what does it mean, sum of reciprocals? So that is the series given to us. You notice that it is 1. Reciprocal of 1 is 1 over 1. And these are reciprocals of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on, right? So harmonic series, as you know, uh, if you do reciprocal, so terms, reciprocal, will be uh, arithmetic series, right? So arithmetic series. So the reciprocals are in arithmetic series. So in this particular series, you have this arithmetic series, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So we get our harmonic series, which is 1 over 1, uh, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, and so on. So the given series is the harmonic series, correct? Now we need to show that it is a diverging series. How do we show that? Diverging series means that if I find the sum of the series, that means sum of series. Now this is infinite series. Then this infinite series sum is also approaching infinity. So it is not converging to a fixed value. That's what it is. Correct? So that's what we have to show that the sum of the series is indefinitely increasing. That is the concept, right? Now let's see and understand how the sum is growing here. So we have the series as 1 plus half plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. Let me write some of these numbers here. Now, as you notice here, we want to find the sum. So basically, we can write sigma here. And this could be going up to infinity. So, so it, the number n in general could be written as 1 over n plus so on, right? So the number n is from 1 to infinity. So that is the sum of the series. infinite terms. Now when you look at these terms, you do notice that there is one and a half. And what you also see is that every term on the left is greater than the term on the right. So what you also notice here that uh, one, we know one is greater than half and we know half is greater than one by three, which is also greater than one over four. So, so what we are trying to say here is that the left terms are greater than the right terms. Correct. Now, that brings us to something very important to look at. So, if I consider these two numbers, for example, then we know that uh, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is equal to half, correct? Now, so that means 1 over 3 is greater than 1 over 4. That means 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 should be greater than half, correct? So these terms are 1 and a half. Now, as we move forward, we notice that if I combine these two terms, I get something which is greater than half. Now, let me take next four terms. So here, what we can say here is that if I, I know that 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is actually equal to 4 over 8, which is equal to half. But again, since the left terms are greater, 
we can say that 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 8 should be greater than half. So, so that means combination now of the four terms is greater than half. Now if I extend this series in this fashion, then you will notice that next, this is four terms, next eight terms sum will also be greater than half, correct, with the same strategy next 8 terms sum that is up to 1 over 16 so so 8 terms with 1 over 16 will be greater than half so what we notice here is that infinitely we are adding terms which are greater than half all the terms which can be combined together and get some greater than half so what we see here is that we are adding terms greater than half at the interval of 2 to the power of n you can say for every 2 to the power of n interval uh, let me write here for 2 to the power of n interval when I say 2 to the power of n interval I mean if I write 2 to the power of 0 that is my first term 2 to the power of 1 gives me 2 terms, 2 to the power of 3 gives me 4 terms, right? 2 to the power of 2 gives me 4 terms, and 2 to the power of 3 gives me 4 terms, and so on. So what does this mean? Let me explain it once again. So if I write 2 to the power of 1, I get 2 terms, so that is these 2 terms. These are already fixed, right? Then if I write 2 to the power of 2, I get four terms so these four terms then if I take 2 to the power of 3 eight terms so all these terms when you add them up they individually I mean collectively are greater than half so each time in this infinite series we are adding numbers greater than half and therefore this sum is actually approaching infinitely large value and so it is not converging perfect so that is how we can actually show that the harmonic series which is made up of reciprocals of natural numbers is a divergent series so i hope that explanation is good enough so we are not giving a mathematical value here but a reasoning for the same i hope it helps feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best.